Hi, I'm Kevin with the City of Dallas Office of Emergency Management, and I'm one of eight professional emergency managers employed by the city to help protect the lives and property of the citizens of Dallas, as well as the environment within the City of Dallas. The Office of Emergency Management does these things through prevention, preparedness, mitigation, response, and recovery, and I'm proud today to be able to talk to you about each one of these phases as well as to be able to take you behind the scenes of an activation of the Emergency Operations Center to describe to you the day-to-day -day roles and functions of the Office of Emergency Management and also to show you some of the things that we have spent our valuable Homeland Security grant dollars on to help improve our abilities to respond to and recover from emergencies or disasters. Did you know that emergency management got its start in the civil defense days of the 1950s and 60s? Over the last 50 years, emergency management has evolved from its starting roots and has become a field of professionals that involve preparing for, responding to, recovering from a disaster or emergency. Emergency management involves each of these four phases, sometimes simultaneously and sometimes on their own, in order to protect the lives, property, and environment of the city of Dallas. For more information on what the essentials of emergency management are, we'd recommend that you look up the Essential Emergency Manager video, which was produced by the City of New York in 2014. This is the City of Dallas Office of Emergency Management Emergency Operations Center. The purpose of the Emergency Operations Center is to be the central clearinghouse of personnel and information during an emergency. We strive to make sure that all internal departments and external partners have all of the same shared information in order to make the best decisions on how we allocate our resources, spend our funds, and prioritize response actions during an emergency event. City of Dallas Emergency Operations Center and Field Response Units are organized by the National Incident Management System, or NIMS. NIMS was developed in December of 2008 and organizes resources during emergencies, provides training, and also classifies the type of response required for different types of incidents. Simply put, the National Incident Management System allows a streets worker from the City of Dallas to be able to operate within the structure of the New York City Streets Department during an emergency or vice versa. I'll now turn it over to Cece, who will take you behind the scenes of a recent activation of the Dallas Emergency Operations Center in support of the George W. Bush Presidential Library Dedication Weekend. Hi, I'm CC with the City. We had an exciting week at City Hall as the Office of Emergency Management activated the Emergency Operations Center as five living presidents celebrated the opening of the George W. Bush Presidential Center at Southern Methodist University. Open it up on Tuesday midnight and go straight for 72 hours until Friday and basically we are here monitoring the situation. Uh, law enforcement, fire, all city utility departments, anybody who would need to provide immediate assistance if needed. The city of Dallas was on the highest alert since the 1984 Republican National Convention. Helicopters and motorcycles were easily spotted, as were snipers standing watch high atop buildings on the SMU campus, and the dark buses around the perimeter of the Omni Hotel. Dallas Police Chief David Brown says his department was prepared. We've been in a supportive role for uh, the three-day dedication of the George W. Bush Library, and our primary role was, is going to be and continue to be managing crowds managing traffic control, obviously, for our transport of motorcade of all the dignitaries. It was a historic time for the city of Dallas, and by all accounts, it was a true success. Authorities are crediting local, state, and federal agencies for working together to create the safest environment for all Dallas citizens. It was a multi-jurisdictional, multi-agency uh, collaboration uh, that involved uh, numerous meetings, uh, briefings, uh, working through obviously uh, a lot of movements of dignitaries, uh, five presidents moving through our city, staying overnight in our city, and so uh, it involved a lot of communication and uh, a lot of real hard work on the ground by our officers. 
Chief Brown also is crediting the city's emergency operations center, which underwent major upgrades and renovations thanks to Homeland Security grants after 9-11. The, the EOC, the Emergency Operations Center, is the intelligence center for the coordination. Uh, we want to know what's happening on the ground. We want to be able to provide resources when needed. And so the, the EOC is an integral part of uh, coordinating uh, all of the resources that's uh, working together in the field to, to deliver a safe three-day dedication of the George W. Smith Library. The EOC is managed by the city's Office of Emergency Management. The EOC is the central location for coordination of emergency response activities by city management and designated department heads. It serves as a location where information during a disaster is collected and assessed. The overall disaster situation is analyzed and the city's response and recovery priorities are established. Uh, for instance, if we have a major flooding or if you have a storm or we have tornadoes, we bring all the agencies in here and we put together a plan on responding and recovering from that incident. And that's true for any incident, whether it be a planned event or an unplanned event, that's what we do. The Office of Emergency Management maintains the EOC in a state of constant readiness and evaluates technological upgrades to improve EOC capabilities to prevent, respond, and recover from threats or acts of terrorism and natural disasters. For more information about the City of Dallas and programs, please visit DallasCityHall.com. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Cece. And now let's talk about some of the day-to-day -day emergency management program functions. Our staff is organized to provide for planning, operations, public warning systems, training and exercises, community outreach, and also grants management. And we'll talk about each one of these phases individually in the upcoming slides. The City of Dallas planning section maintains and develops the emergency operations plan which provides operational guidance to city forces and external partners during an emergency event, our hazard and mitigation plans, which seek to identify new strategies and ways to separate our citizens and their properties from emerging hazards, our continuity of government plans, which tell us how do we operate if we're not able to be at City Hall or at key governmental facilities. And finally, our departmental standard operating procedures, which govern the response actions of the Office of Emergency Management staff when we respond to incidents in the field. Did you know that the city of Dallas has 156 outdoor warning sirens? Do you know why we sound these warning sirens? The answer is easy. The outdoor warning siren system established in 2007 provides continuous outdoor coverage of siren systems during emergency events. That can include a tornado warning, hail of an inch and a half or greater in diameter, straight line winds of 70 miles an hour or more, or any other emergency life-threatening situation deemed necessary to activate the warning siren system. Warning siren systems are designed to tell people to take cover inside, turn on local news, media, and identify why the sirens are sounding. But outdoor warning sirens aren't the only method of notifying City of Dallas residents of an emergency. We have partnerships with the media, with digital billboard companies. We are able to access and utilize the emergency alert system. We have access to the National Weather Service who activates the weather radio function. And we also have a tool called Geocast Web, which allows the City of Dallas to alert registered cell phones or all landline phones within the city of Dallas during an emergency to pass along important information and protective action decisions made by the city to help protect lives and property. All of these tools together help make possible the ability to warn 100% of the population 100% of the time. The city of Dallas Office of Emergency Management also maintains a robust training and exercise program. Four years ago, Earthquakes were not a major hazard in Dallas, yet we were still participating in what is called the Great Shakeout Drill, where we brought city forces down to the Emergency Operations Center and simulated hiding and being safe under tables. We've done that each of the last four years. We've also worked with our field crews, including Hazmat, 
emergency medical services, police, and fire to conduct full-scale training exercises that simulate all the functions of an emergency event and the response to it without actually having the disaster occur. This helps ensure that our field response crews are ready during any emergency to respond to and protect lives and property. The City of Dallas also looks at community outreach as an important function within our department. We strive to link together government, volunteer organizations such as the Dallas Community Emergency Response Team and the private sector, including Downtown Dallas Inc. and businesses throughout the community to be able to meet the needs of our citizens during an emergency event. All of these functions coming together is what helps make a truly resilient city. And now to provide you with a quick overview of the Homeland Security grant programs received by the City of Dallas. The Office of Emergency Management manages two major Department of Homeland Security funded grant programs. The first of which is the Urban Area Security Initiative, which is a direct grant from the federal government to the most at-risk urban areas nationwide. We also receive the State Homeland Security Program through our partners at the North Central Texas Council of Governments. This grant is made available by FEMA to states and then states on a competitive basis to regions within the city. All of these grant allocations are based off a risk-based formula and the effectiveness of the grant application helps make the city more competitive in identifying Homeland Security grants. And since 2003, the city of Dallas has received over $80 million in Homeland Security funding. Some of the projects that we have sponsored with these Homeland Security funds include the Dallas Police Department's Fusion Center, an upgraded radio network for the city of Dallas, our Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit, helicopters for Dallas Police Department, the City of Dallas Hazardous Materials Teams, City of Dallas SWAT Team, building the Texas Task Force II Urban Search and Rescue Team within the Dallas Fire Department, procuring a mobile command post for the Dallas Police Department, and also building a 1,500 strong cadre of volunteers called the Dallas Community Emergency Response Team. And finally, we also support regional initiatives such as the Know What To Do campaign, which is cater built for North Central Texas hazards and preparing the public to them. We've also supported projects for what is called Web EOC and NC4's E-Team system, which help jurisdictions and emergency responders share real-time information in emergencies to be able to have everyone be on the same page and respond more effectively to incidents. And finally, our digital sandbox solution helps us identify damage throughout the city, conduct risk assessments and modeling, all with the goal of being able to be a more prepared and resilient city to emergencies. For more information on the City of Dallas Office of Emergency Management, visit our website at www.dallasemergencymanagement.org or you can call the Office of Emergency Management anytime, day or night at 214-670-4275. Thank you.